All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Bible. We come to tell you so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics that you are the children of Israel, according to the Holy Bible. All right? I want to give double honors. Uh, but before all that, we want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakak, Kodash, that's who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who's coming back in their full power and wrath. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace, blessing, and mercy to the brethren around the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. The house of David, the elect, and much love to you few sisters listening in humility. All right, so this, this place that you know as America is going to come to an end soon. All right? America is going to be obliterated, obliterated off the face of the earth, okay? This place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. The Bible prophesies the things that are happening in today's society, but you people are too carnal to realize that. You think that uh, when the, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ walked the earth, that's when the end of things begun, man. The kingdom of Israel is going to be set up and established in that day, okay? And, and these are those times now that the Lord was speaking about. Okay, it says the things written before were written for our learning. And so now we're, the, the, the true Israelites coming back to, into their nationality, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, because we were separated from our lineage. Now the Lord is going to come back and redeem his people as he has spoken, as it is written. All right, this is Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come, of it, come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. All right, so it says the Son of Man is coming in His glory, man. That's when you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is a so-called black man, according to the Bible. All right? Everybody thinks that uh, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ and God are so-called white men. They're, according to the Bible, it says differently. And that's who everybody likes to think that He's coming to redeem everybody. The Lord is coming to redeem the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And that's it, man. Not, not you other nations, not you other heathens. If you're not a, the nation of Israel, you're not going to be delivered out of this place. All right? There's much destruction coming into Babylon the Great. Okay? Because these things were written beforehand. All right? Such an ancient book to match futuristic times. There is no book like the Bible on uh, the face of the planet, man. No book can tell you about how things began, the things that are happening to earth now, and the things that are going to happen uh, in the future. Okay? That's why the Lord has his men to come out and tell you the things that are about to befall this place. The calamities that are about to doom America. Okay? Because this place is full with blood. This place is full of wickedness. It's a lot. And the Lord is going to show judgment upon this place, man. All you people have to receive your judgment. Okay? You, you think that you can walk around in your lives and not receive the judgment that the Lord has set up for you, okay? But the Son of Man is gonna come in His glory, man, all right, and all the holy angels with Him. And the holy angels, they don't look like little babies with wings, with two wings, all right? What you know is angels are tall, dark-skinned men who are uh, full of fierce, who are fierce and full of wrath, man. And they're coming to destroy this place that you know is America, all right? This is Matthew 25 and 32. And before him shall all shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. All right, so the Lord said he's coming to divide the nations. So all of you people thinking about integration and thinking that everybody's going to come together, that's a myth, man. That is a lie. The Lord's coming to divide, man. All right? And conquer. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is coming to divide the nations. And he says he, sh he shall separate his sheep from his go the sheep from the goats. The sheep are the ones who follow his voice. The 144,000 and one third of the house of Israel. All right, but you goats, you other nations. All right, you're not. A, 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 you're not. You can't come into this fold, man. All right, either you are an Israelite or you're not. It says, and he shall set set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. All right, so we know that uh, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is on the right hand of power, man. It's a glorious thing to be on the right hand of power. All right? But you other nations are goats, man. Okay? And the Lord is going to slaughter the goats in that day, man. 
It's great judgment coming upon America, thus says the Lord, man. This place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. And there's nothing you can do about it. All right? Who you ignorant called Jesus Christ is going to be the one to come and bring that wrath. He's going to come and bring that judgment upon this place, man. But you people don't understand that. You only like to live your lives and think about fun. And see, you know, people don't debate their cause in our faces. You know, people only debate their cause once they're, once they're halfway up the street. You know, people want to yell and scoff and say things, but they won't come and debate their cause, man. You know, the Lord says, be ye wise as uh, serpents, but harmless as doves, man. We're not going to put our hands on you. We're not out here to, we're waiting, on, we're waiting on the Lord to do that, man. Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, uh, wait therefore until I rise up unto the prey, man. So we got to wait for our Lord in order to uh, put hands on you heathens, man. But that day is going to come. Those things are coming to this place. All right. It says, uh, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All right. So the sheep that are on the right hand. The one third of the nation of Israel are going to be the ones to, uh, that the Lord has the, the, the kingdom of heaven prepared for, man. Not the rest of you people, man. You think you 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 think you deserve the kingdom of heaven? All right, but you have not followed the Lord's commandments. You have not followed the Lord's statutes. You have not hearkened to His words. The Lord's going to bring swift judgment upon this place, man. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. All right? And so it says, stay, stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry, man. All right? And that's what we're out here doing. We're sighing and crying all of the abominations that be done in this place known as America, man. It's all, all of this filth in this place, man. This place is utterly polluted. It's like a, this place is like a, a landfill, man. America's a landfill. That's all it is. Okay, on the top, it seems glorious with the fertilizer and the grass covered under the hill, making it look like a false hill or a false mountain. But under it is nothing but trash and pollution. All right, America is just a, a, a cesspool, man, a landfill. And what, what happens when you have a landfill? They, they think it decomposes and goes back into the earth, man, but they just keep getting larger and larger. Okay, and that's how America, you know, it says in Revelation 18 that, um, your sins have reached into the heavens, man. And the most I have remembered your iniquities. So the Lord has remembered the, uh, the sins that this place has committed, man. All right? This place is nothing but filth and trash. And he says, woe unto the polluted city, man. Woe unto this place, which means destruction upon America. All right? When those missiles come and when, when uh, famine comes and martial law comes, then everybody's going to wonder what's going on. Then everybody's going to act like they didn't hear the men of the Lord out here telling you the things that are coming. Okay? But the day of the Lord is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? A kingdom that shall be, shall be established on earth. All right? You aren't going to fly off to the, uh, to, to the true heavens and think that uh, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics aren't going to have their time in rulership. All right? We're going to have our time to be kings. All right? The time, the time, and that's going to be an everlasting kingdom. That's going to be a kingdom set up by the heavenly father, man. You, you uh, so-called white people, you had your time of rulership. You've had your time to rule this earth, man. You know, but the people are mourning. Let me get that in Proverbs. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. All right? So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, man. So after y'all thousand years of slavery, you know, the, the, the people are going to rejoice, man. It's going to be fruitful. The earth is going to be fruitful. And, this, you know, all of the time of war, all of that's going to cease. But a lot, of, a lot of war and a lot of uh, grievous times have to come first. A lot of uh, things have to take place before that, that righteousness is installed, man. All right? But it says, when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. And right now, who, who, are, who are ruling the earth? You so-called white people, man. You're ruling the earth, and the people are mourning. The people are, uh, the people don't have any money. The people don't have any food. The people don't have any nourishment. 
You know, people making uh, ends, making it months to check to check, making ends meet. Okay, the people in this place are mourning. It says when the wicked bear through, the people mourn, man. And our people are mourning. Yeah, we got you, man. I'm glad to see you. What's up, man? You know you're an Israelite? Yeah, I know, brother. Hey, you better get into your Bible, man. All right. I already know. I told you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You know, Jake want to be on camera, but it's all good. But he know he's an Israelite. I, I, I do remember speaking to that, brother. Um, but yeah, man, uh, the, 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 the wicked are, are ruling this place, man. And see, it, once again, just like uh, America's a landfill, you people are uh, human landfills, man. Walking around thinking you're covered in beauty. Walking around thinking that it's, it's a beautiful thing. But you people are wicked, man. You people are wicked. You do everything to, uh, after your vain hearts and after your vain lust, man. All right? And you so-called white people have been in rulership long enough. And now your rulership is going to be taken from you. Okay? The, 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 the true lords of this work, of this earth are about to rule in righteousness. Okay, the, the children of Israel, according to the Holy Bible, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is going to be ahead of that, man. He's going to come and show you people what true judgment is, what true vengeance is, what true glory is. Because you people think you know what glory is is because you have uh, you own nice material, all right? Because you have nice houses, nice cars, and a nice lifestyle. You think that uh, that's a, you think that's glory, okay? You think that's true honor. But the Lord is going to come show you what, what it really looks like. Okay? I get that again. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So when these so-called white people got to earth, the people are mourning, man. People are destroyed. But you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, you're going to be there set up for righteousness. All right? But two-thirds of our people have to be destroyed, man. Because they want, they want to do everything after their own lust. They want to do everything after their own hearts. All right, but uh, what, what did Jeremiah say about uh, what the heart is? You know, everybody try to say it's all about love. When in the scriptures, the word for heart is actually your mind, love. But this is Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. The heart is deceitful, man. All right, you people have played tricks on yourself and put tricks on uh, other people's, plagued other people's minds. It says, and desperately wicked, who can know it? Okay, it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So the heart is desperately wicked, man. All right, and, uh, you, and you people, you know, because since you follow the ways of this world, you don't understand your wickedness. It's just like uh, when you walk into your house, when you're in your house and you're basking in your sense, you don't think that you have a stench. But then you walk around other people, or other people come into your house and they be able to tell that you have an odor, man. That's how you people's wickedness is. It's like an odor that's uh, been, and it's, the Lord is smelling that odor, man. Smelling that odor of wickedness. But he's not accepting it. He's not accepting the sacrifices that you people are putting up. He's not accepting the prayers that you people are sending up, okay? Because they're all vain, all right? The night is nigh spent, man. It says, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 10, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. All right, so the Lord is going to give uh, every man according to his ways, man. So you heathens, you so-called white people, you other nations, you're going to receive your judgment, man, for putting the children of Israel into slavery. And you two-thirds of you Israelites, you're going to receive your judgment as well. Because you followed after these other nations. You follow them to think they're gonna lead you into the land of milk and honey. You follow them to think that they're, they're gonna get, uh, that uh, Cesare Borgia is gonna give you righteousness. That's gonna deliver you and give you salvation. All right? The Lord is the only one who can do that, man. Not these other idol gods, these other fake gods that are no gods, man. This is Isaiah 29 and 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed, hath closed your eyes. All right? So the Lord has poured out a, a, a spirit of deep sleep upon this place, man. Okay? 
you know how you had a long day? You tired, you probably done worked out. Your job done took all your, drained all your energy. Your children's drained all your energy and then you had that deep sleep, that deep REM sleep. That's the spirit that the Lord has poured out upon this place, man. A spirit of deep sleep and the Lord has covered your eyes from seeing the things that are coming. Because how else would he come in as a thief in the night? He has to cover your eyes from the truth and shut your ears, okay? It says the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. So all you people that think you go to churches and think you got uh, so-called pastors and think they know about uh, the coming days of the Lord, those pastors set up in your church, they aren't doing anything to tell you about the coming day of the Lord, man. They only tell you how they can take more money out of your pockets, okay? And they, they, they covering you people in a deep sleep, man, putting y'all deeper and deeper. But you don't know that who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is about to come and wake up, wake all y'all up, man. And your eyes are going to be widened when he breaks the, sky, the skies with his chariots, man. Let me get Romans. Uh, Romans 13. This is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. All right. So now is the time to wake out of sleep, man. All right. But the, who are who the people are going to do that? The one third of the children of Israel are the only people who, who the Lord is going to reawake out of their sleep. And, you know, you know, when I when I was in the world and I heard the truth, man, you know, it's, it's like my eyes awoke into a new light. And that was the Lord put in his spirit back in his people, you know. But right now is the high time to wake out of sleep. You, you Israelites, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those of confusion and faith. Are you making a movie? It's a video. You know, now is the time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So the children of Israel, now is their salvation. Now is their, our salvation nearer than we ever believed, man. Okay? It's near than we even believed. Okay? So just like how uh, you'll go on, you'll have a vacation that's set a couple months away, but then next thing you know, the month for that vacation is there. That's how the coming of the Lord's going to be, man. All right? Our salvation is nearer than we believe. And Lord willing, we're amongst that number, man. Because if you're not amongst the number of uh, the Lord's 144,000 or one-third, you're going to be left here to be destroyed in America. Okay? Even these other countries. These other countries are about to bring uh, great judgment unto this place, man. They're about to send all those thermonuclear missiles. North Korea, Syria, Iran, Russia, Pakistan, China. 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 All these countries are about to bring judgment. They're going to send missiles to America. All of these countries are about to send missiles, man. And he, these missiles are ICBM missiles, intercontinental, man. The Lord's about to send them unto America to destroy, man. What does that mean? Down, down, down with the old, huh? Down with the old, down with the new. See that what people don't understand is these so-called white people about to go into slavery. That's what these these people don't understand. So they'll have a raise to life shirt and think that uh that she's talking about who the world English calls Jesus Christ. All right. But if you are of the of, of the lineage of Israel, you, you you're not gonna be raised to life, man. You're gonna be raised to death. Wait till this motorcycle pass locked. I've had to pause the video. Damn devils.